Hi folks, welcome to the Paradox test set demonstration. In this video we're going to be demonstrating the Paradox 2 assembly which is the orange with the blue brush assembly. And we're going to be testing it with large magnets. So we have options for small magnets and large magnets. Right now the brush assembly is sitting over top of large magnets. I'll, the specifications for all that will be posted to the Patreon folks in a little while. Okay, so now the other update to this is I put a 4.7 microfarad capacitor across the brushes here because we're using skateboard bearings as the means of basically as the brushes to get the signal over to our microvolt sensitive instrument here. We were using a Siglent SDM 3055 multimeter. It's set up so that it's zeroed out right now. Nothing's moving. It's zeroed out and it's being set up for 1000 averages. So when I make a change, it's going to be a little while for the meter to average everything up so that there, and this helps the reading become a little more stable. Okay, the stepper motor controller is set at 800 hertz per RPS. In other words, when I have the frequency source set to 800, the wheel here is doing one turn per second. And I'm going to start at 800 hertz, and then we're going to move up to 1600 hertz in one hundred hertz steps. Uh, the reason for that is we want to graph that so we can take out any noise. Okay, so that's kind of why we're doing that. We need to get a nice data that should tr should make a straight line on a, on a graph paper. But because there's a little bit of noise and instability in our measurements, you know, we can't just take one measurement. We've got to take a series of measurements and regress out the noise. That's the terminology that we use. Now, in the configuration now, I'm using a small clamp here which is a little bit off to the side let me bend down little clamp here uh, I found I didn't actually need to put full clamps on these things because they're tight enough where they are the only issue is the brushes here exert a force on it and it causes this to walk back so the only thing I have is just a little clamp here to prevent this from walking back and we're going to intentionally walk this back because right now we're set up so that the orange is flush with the copper ring the copper ring is this dark band set in the red ring holder. Okay, and right now the tops of the magnets are flush with the ring in the ring holder. And that's going to be our first configuration. Now I'm not going to write anything down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through and then read all the readings off the video after the fact. Okay, so let me make sure the camera can see everything. There we go. Power on. Okay, give it a second to stabilize. That's about good. It's about 170 microvolts. That's 800 hertz, 900 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 1100 hertz, 1200 hertz. 1300 hertz, 1400 hertz, 1500 hertz, and 1600 hertz. Okay, now this is interesting because watch, in the next set of measurements, we're going to start slowly moving the armature slightly away from the ring assembly. It's okay, the brushes will extend to keep making contact with the ring. And it's interesting because our voltage will actually increase before it starts decreasing. Okay, so let me turn this back down to 1200, I mean 800, and then turn the power off. Okay, then we're gonna loosen our clamp. And we're going to move this. Two millimeters. Okay, so now we're two millimeters farther back from where we were before. I'm going to put this guy on here. Keep it from sliding back any further. Okay, 
And then we're going to start our readings over again. Power on. 800 hertz. Nine hundred hertz. One thousand hertz. Eleven hundred. Twelve hundred. Thirteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. 1500 and 1600. See, now you can see we're almost 500 microvolts. Okay, I'm going to go back down to 800. Turn the power off. And then I'm going to move one mill. I mean, one millimeter. I mean, I'm going. To, I'm, ah, I'm going to move another two millimeters out. Game on. So now we're starting to go back down again. 800. 900. 1,000. 1,100. 1,200. 1300 Oops, we're getting glare in the camera. Thirteen hundred now or fourteen hundred? Fifteen hundred? And 1600. So now we're about 440, 430, somewhere in there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find out at which distance do we get the maximum voltage. And I'm a 380s. Moving slightly out, 400s, 420s, 440s. I'm looking at the maximum value, 450, 460, 490. Oh, it looks like 490 was there, right about there. Okay, so that, I'm going to stop it right there. So if you look very closely, point of maximum voltage is when the top of the ring, where the brushes make contact, bisect the magnets in volume. It's very close to that. If I move a little farther this way, the voltage stops decreasing. I move a little farther this way, the voltage starts decreasing. I mean, stops. If I move a little this, if I move either way from this point, the voltage starts to diminish. And right now, the top of the metal ring is bisecting where the magnets are. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm going to get set up for the next set of Paradox where I'm going to install the smaller magnets that you see here. Hi, welcome to the Paradox test set demonstration number two. 
This is a second Paradox 2 configuration in this case. Instead of using the large magnet holes, we're using the small magnet holes. And on this case, you see the green here. This means the north side is toward the rear, which means the south side is on this side, but you can't see it because it is below the blue brush assembly here. So what we have is the north side up magnet is underneath the blue wire and the south side up magnets underneath the yellow wire and those get brought all the way out here to the same color configuration to our Siglent microvolt sensitive voltmeter. Again, the voltmeter set to 1000 averages and I guess we're ready to run this thing. Alright, again I found the uh, distance, the position in this dimension where this gives an optimal voltage and again, that seems to be where the brush contact meets the copper ring. When that plane bisects the magnet, it seems to be the optimal voltage that we get. Okay, right now we're at 800, 900, 1000. Oops, wrong button. Now we're 1000. 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500, and 1600. What you're seeing in this video is I extended the brushes. Let me turn it off for a second so you can see it. I put in very, 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 very long brushes.